Okay, Ryan Stimson here. Hope you're doing well. So one of the biggest challenges that I see and I get questions about all the time is exactly what this uh, this title is stating here is, which is how to get Yelp reviews that won't get filtered and improve your rating. So basically, bottom line is is that what what our what my clients want to do is they want to get more Yelp reviews that won't get filtered. Um, that that's a big challenge. And how do you find those people in your business or in your practice or um, so that you can select those people and and ask those specific people for a review? Because um, the Yelpers um, are, are are individuals that are engaged in Yelp and they meet certain criteria that um, allow their reviews to not be filtered. And I'm just going to show you myself here so that you can actually see. Here we go. Okay. So again, Ryan Simonson here. Um, I, and we're just going to go through this really quick. So I am using a, um, a blog post that was, uh, that was written. It's a great blog post and it's, and it really is, it really does get to the, to the heart of the issue, which is, you know, basically what's the mechanism for finding those people? Because you don't want to mess with Yelp. I mean, and, and I will tell you ahead of time that, you know, even when we do find these people, you can't, you know, you, you want to stay within the Yelp guidelines and you don't want to ask them specifically for a review because that's against their terms of service. But what you can say is, you know, find us on Yelp, and, and, and there are some suggestions in the post. I'm just going to go through the post here. I'm going to share my screen um, in order for us to go through this. So let's go and look at that. And here we go. Okay, let me go back here. So um, the first step is, is and they, they lay it out really, really easily here, is you know how to find those customers that are active Yelpers. Number one, is you want to go and, and um, create a new Gmail account, okay? Uh, number two is set up a contact list in the Gmail account, that, um, and you want to upload that CSV file. No more than 2,999 clients or, or customers on that list, um, and you want to use a new account because you don't want to taint any existing you know Gmail accounts that you have, okay? Log into your Gmail account and then just follow these instructions. I'll put the link in the in the post here. I don't want to get too, you know, into the weeds here, but I, there's a few things I want to point out. Um, you do want to use the old version of of Gmail in order to in order to do this properly. Um, and then the final seventh step here is just uploading your contact list. And then once once you have that Gmail account set up with your your contacts uploaded, then what you want to do is you want to go over into your your um, your personal Yelp account. And find your friends on Yelp, and you're going to use that that um, Gmail account that you just set up here, okay? And um, from that list, uh, you're going to choose. You know, you'll see. I mean, there's all these steps here, but a couple things I want to highlight is <clears throat> you now need to go through and look for the customers that would be a good candidate and ask them for a Yelp review. They have, and here's the things, the criteria that I want to point out here. Um, these are the people that you're looking for. They have a, a, a profile photo and at least one review. They have no profile photo and at least 20 friends, uh, at least one review, or they have no profile photo, photo, less than 20 friends and at least three reviews. Okay. So those are the criteria that you want to identify. And then as you find candidates record their information in a spreadsheet and, um, and this is the information that you want to, you know, and you can outsource this. Um, and then here's how you find the email addresses of the, uh, for the Yelp friends. Okay. So basically you can use Chrome to do this and there's a, there's a simple process for identifying that. And then basically you just rinse and repeat. You can upload uh, a second list of people, uh, to, up to 2,999 uh, contacts. And, um, and the reason why you only do that many is because it, it kind of times out, uh, if you do too many and then, um, you close that out and then, Basically, here's the here's the thing that you don't you want to make sure that don't forget to play by the rules. Okay, this is really important. You can um, <clears throat> you can send those people an email here. You can send those send them an email just to let them know your business is on Yelp. You can include a screenshot 
maybe highlight some of the great reviews and use the word find us on Yelp and cl- and check us out on Yelp. OK, so there's other tips, um, you know, create a check in offer. That's a really great strategy. Embed reviews from your listing, etc. You can embed them right from um, uh, let's see, right from Yelp. They, they do offer that uh, as, a, as a way for you to post those reviews there. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Um, it's a, this is a great blog post from Whitespark. You can call me uh, or um, uh, engage with us from our website. Go to acceleratyourmarketing.com. Definitely send us a message here on Facebook or Instagram. Um, we'll give you, we love, you know, responding to Facebook messages. We'll give you some really great tips on and strategies on how to, on how to um, do this even better. But again, just to summarize, um, I'm going to flip this around. Okay. So um, again, Ryan Sandelson here again. Um, I, we really, I really appreciate you watching this video. Let it, let me know if you have any questions, just to summarize again, um, what, what I showed you is, is how to identify from your current list, the, the people that are actually Yelpers so that you can engage with them and, um, and leverage the knowledge that you have, that they are Yelpers, that they meet certain criteria and that way you can hopefully get more Yelp reviews that are not going to be filtered, okay? I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye.